Hi, my name is Tim. There are times when you receive a document as lines of text. Maybe the different pieces of text are separated by semicolons or another character. You need to put the text into a table so others can easily read it. This video will cover converting text into tables. To convert text into a table, highlight all the text you want to convert, then click the, the, the table menu, go down to the convert submenu, then click, click text to table. This opens a Convert Text to Table dialog that has two sections and four buttons. The Separate Text At section has several radio buttons and a checkbox that allow you to choose how the text will be divided into cells and rows. This is dependent on what characters are used to separate the pieces of text. If text on a line is separated by a tab stop, click the tab radio button. Text at each tab stop on a line will be put into individual cells. The tabs radio button is the only one of the radio buttons that that makes the equal width width for all columns checkbox active putting a check in the equal width for all columns checkbox makes all columns equal equal in width if this box is empty then some columns will be much wider than, than others. As you can see, the model column is so wide that you cannot see the other two columns. If text on a line is separated by semicolon, click the, the semicolon radio button. Text of each semicolon on a line will be put into individual cells. The paragraph radio button will create one column. All the data on each line will be in one column, and each each line will be in its own in its own row. The other radio button has a text box to the right of it. It allows you to type a symbol or character that divides the text in, in each line. Perhaps each piece of text on a line is divided by a comma. Then enter a comma in the text box. However, if they are divided by a different character, such as in this example, that the text is divided by periods, then enter that character in the text box. The options section has check boxes for heading, splitting the table and borders. The heading checkbox allows at least one row to be be a heading row. Putting a check and repeat heading means that the heading row will be repeated for as many rows as are entered in the text box below it. 
So if I put a check in the repeat heading, and I simply want one row to be the heading, but if I wanted more than that, I could I could use the up and down arrow buttons or enter it in the text box. We will give this table just one heading. As you can see, it has it split since the table had to be split in two because it was long enough to go on to the second page, it repeated the, the heading row. Now, as I, I just demonstrated, if there's not a, ch a check in the don't split table checkbox, then the table will begin where the cursor is located. So the cursor is actually located right at the beginning of this highlight. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And as you can see, it repeated what I just showed you where the heading row is repeated because the uh, t table um, started on page one and went on to page two. However, if you put a check in the don't split table checkbox and you have a table like like the one I just demonstrated where it's long enough to move on to the next page then it will that means that the table will simply be started on the next page as you can see this table did not start where the cursor was it started on page two putting a check in the border box will give the table it's the LibreOffice Writer's default borders. If you leave it empty, however, the table will not have borders. As I have demonstrated throughout this video, if, once you set your choices in the Convert Text Table dialog, simply click OK. If you want to get out of the dialog, without making any change without creating a, a table click cancel help menu will bring you to a web page or, or the help section of LibreOffice writer that's about the convert text to table <clears throat> the auto format button opens another dialog that allows you to choose from several several preset styles for your table. I will cover this dialog and table formatting in future videos. This video has been about converting text into tables in LibreOffice Writer. Thank you for watching. Check out my other videos on YouTube and subscribe to the OS College channel by clicking on the, the box that says subscribe to OS College channel.